Good morning everyone, another video here from Lighthouse Infotech. Today we will be talking about Odoo POS systems and in particular Odoo POS systems running a virtual IoT box and we will be talking about the hardware and network setup uh, running Odoo POS on multiple devices using virtual IoT. We see a lot of uh, videos about the Odoo POS system functionality, but we have yet to see a good video on network and hardware setup using virtual IoT with Odoo POS. So we thought today we would make a quick video and show you how Odoo POS, how powerful and how flexible it can be using the virtual IoT box, either on Wi-Fi or on a LAN network. Today we will be using a network switch, not a hub. It's important that you use a network switch. And we will be showing you how it works with uh, three thermal network printers. So if this is something you're interested in, Odoo POS, using virtual IoT, it's very, very flexible, very, very powerful, very economical POS system with virtually unlimited number of thermal printers, uh, monitors, screens, we have a cash register, drawer, we have a keyboard all set up. Uh, so we will be showing you how it all works today. If this is something you're interested in, please stand by and watch the video. Thank you. Okay, well, thank you very much for sticking around, guys. Uh, today we're talking about Odoo POS and virtual IoT. Uh, the very first step that you need to do to work with Odoo POS and virtual IoT is you need to install the Odoo virtual IoT application on your computer. Now, I have this old computer. It's an old Windows 10 uh, machine has a cache drawer below it, uh, has very, very low memory. I think it's eight gigabyte of RAM, a very small hard disk uh, running Windows 10, an old version of Windows 10. And it is currently running on the LAN network. Now I can install the Odoo virtual IoT box uh, while either the machine is on the Wi-Fi network or on the LAN network, but generally, we would recommend that you install the virtual IoT box on this computer when connected to the LAN. Um, that's the first step. So I'm going to assume here that you have an active uh, Odoo subscription as well as an active Odoo IoT box subscription. These are required. Uh, so if you do have both of those, then navigate over to odoo.com slash download and choose your version that you'd like to download the virtual IoT box and install it on this computer. That's the very first step. Cheers, guys. Let's continue. I'm going to assume here that you've already downloaded and installed and paired your virtual IoT box software to your database. I will include a link in the description below to a very good Odoo tutorial on how to install and link uh, your virtual IoT box to your database. So let's continue here uh, and assume that you've got your virtual IoT database now linked. Um, what you need to do next is simply navigate to odoo.com. And you're going to connect to your database. Here's my database.
once you are on your database, you will see all of the different applications that you have downloaded and installed on your Odoo instance. If you're running a uh, active IoT subscription, you will see an application here called IoT. Uh, let's go ahead and open that. And you have connected your virtual IoT box to your database. So you simply click on this link here. And that will open and start up your virtual IoT box. You see here that I'm connected on my desktop. This is the IP address of my lap of my computer. I'm connected via the Ethernet. I have an active CSS uh, certificate running. If you have an active IoT subscription, this will be installed automatically and configured for you. And you can see that I have a number of printers connected to this particular laptop. And once you are here, once you have the virtual IoT box up and running, you simply navigate back to your database and open your POS system. You will see here that I'm running two branches on the POS. And let's open this branch first. I'm going to log in as a cashier. You can have, with a POS subscription, you can have an unlimited number of employees and cashiers uh, using the POS system with one license. And now I am up and running on my POS system. Everything is green at the top here, showing that I have internet connectivity. I'm connected to the database, I'm syncing, synchronized with the database, and I also have some uh, network devices uh, configured and connected to this POS. So let's uh, stop for the moment here and resume uh, back to the video on how to use the hardware. Okay, let's continue uh, with the Odoo Virtual IoT Box. Uh, I am now up and running on the Virtual IoT Box on this desktop. Uh, I will go over to my database and I will open my POS system. I will open a new session. I will log in as a cashier. Again, all of this is fully customizable and configurable. I'm logged in, I'm gonna open a session. Uh, I have several devices here now running wirelessly, uh, but let's show you how the printers work quickly. I will go into my POS session here, into my menu. I will have all of my different categories at the top. We have a nice uh, video on Odoo POS functionality. We will include that link also in the description below, but for now, we're highlighting the hardware and network infrastructure required to run the virtual IoT box. Anyway, let's go ahead and choose an item and we will order it from the kitchen. And you can see it prints out on the kitchen printer. We have it configured. Now these POS printers are network printers. They have been configured with the correct IP address on our local network. And this particular printer is connected to Odoo Kitchen Printing in the settings and configuration of Odoo. And let's just show you how it works with payment. Once the customer requests their check, we can come over here and click payment. We'll take a cash payment of 200 baht, no change, and we will validate. My cash drawer opens automatically and my receipt prints out on the receipt printer. Okay guys, let's continue. Let's just show you uh, some of the things you can do with the virtual IoT box running on your local network. This is a tablet that I have running. It is connected wirelessly. It is not connected to the LAN. It's on the wireless network. 
and I want to connect it to my virtual IoT box and I want to use it in the restaurant. So I would simply navigate to odoo.com and log in to my database. And once I'm logged into my database, you will see all of the applications that I have running on my database. I would click the IoT box. I would come into here and I would start my IoT box, which is now running or connected to the tablet. And from the tablet, I'm going to be able to print to any of the network printers that are connected to the desktop instance of Odoo Virtual IoT. So let's test that out quickly. Uh, we will go back to IoT and back to my database. And I'm going to open my point of sale system. And again, I'm running on the tablet, not the desktop. Uh, however, my POS printers are connected via network to my desktop where my Odoo Virtual uh, IoT box is installed. So again, I'm going to go into branch one. I will choose branch one. And I will log into branch one as an employee. I will open my POS session. Everything looks good. It's all in green, showing good connectivity. And I will open this table. I will go up to my POS session and I will choose an item. And I'm going to order it from the kitchen. And it is printed out on the kitchen printer via the virtual IoT box that is resident within this computer. Let's go ahead and check out the cashier function now. We will go to payment, take a payment. Customer would like to pay with cash, 200, no change, and we will validate. My register opens automatically. My receipt prints out on my cashier printer. All operating on a uh, wireless laptop. Now this wireless laptop can be anywhere within your restaurant or within your shop. All it needs to do is to be connected to your Odoo virtual IoT box via your local network. So it can be anywhere on premise uh, and be used uh, virtually uh, by your employees. Okay guys, uh, let's continue. Finally, uh, we want to show you that it's, it's even possible to run the Odoo POS system from a mobile phone. Uh, I have an old Oppo here, I think. Uh, it is not an iPhone, it's just an old smartphone. I've connected it to my local network via Wi-Fi. I have logged into odoo.com and I have opened the virtual IoT app on my database and it's now up and running. And then I have gone back and opened the POS application uh, on the mobile phone, which is now open here, you can see. I have all of my tables. Again, uh, you probably want to run, if you're a high volume restaurant, you may want to run a tablet or a, another monitor solution where, with a bigger screen. But this demo is simply for the purposes of letting you know that you can run the Odoo POS very, very nicely and very, very easily also via any mobile phone, via any smartphone. You do not need to purchase any additional hardware or monitors or screens. And at the same time, you do not need to download and install anything onto the mobile phone since this is a uh, internet-based system. This is 100% cloud-based system. So on this phone, I have not installed anything whatsoever. So let's go ahead and I'll open up my table. You can see here that I have my categories. I can scroll through and find my different items. I'm going to op open this item here and I'm going to review. It's now in my shopping cart and I'm going to place the order to the kitchen. And the uh, printer has now printed my order uh, via the virtual IoT box. Let's go back to payment now. We will take a payment. And this is 400 baht. So we will key in 400. 
no cash, and we're going to validate this. My register is open automatically, and we have now printed it out at the cashier, all via any smartphone that you have available in your establishment. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider the Odoo POS system. It is a, a very powerful, very flexible, uh, very cost-effective POS system for restaurants, bars, cafes, etc. that do not want to invest in expensive hardware and other uh, network infrastructure.